Hey YouTube, it's another video on my RF603 triggers, just in response to Henry's email. Just want to demonstrate how these triggers can be used as a shutter release. All you're going to need is this cable that it already comes with, it's supplied with this cable. It's a 3mm jack that fits into your triggers on the side, that's right there. And the next end goes into your camera, it's an XSI like mine, it goes right in the middle. Okay. okay, for this demonstration, I will attach my my transceiver to the hot shoe or for the shutter release, though it is not needed. All that's needed is the sync cable. But just to make it stable, I'll put it on the top. So, just slide it on like so. There's no locking mechanism, but it fits on pretty tight. I'm going to connect my cable. First end goes right in here, in the middle. And that's a three millimeter. It's pretty short. The next end goes into my trigger. Okay, so I'm just gonna switch it on. I'm gonna turn it like so, so you'll be able to see what the setup is. I'm switching the next transceiver on. So there's a transceiver and the receiver. All right, now that they're both on, I don't know if you can see, I'm going to be using this to trigger it. There are two releases on this button right here. There's a first one and there's a second one. The first one is for focusing, the second one is for firing. As I go through the first one, you'll see how you'll hear the camera when it focuses. Listen. There it goes. Hear it again one more time. All right. And then the second one, of course, uh, takes your shot. There you go. You notice as I press the shutter button the first time down, both lights come on to show that the camera is ready and focused and ready to fire. You just want to make sure those both um, both those lights come on before you go the second time around, or else it may give a little delay before firing. There you go. Again. 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 Alright. I'm just having a little trouble there focusing. But as you can see, definitely can be used as a shutter release. Also, uh, you can still put a flash on here, and yes, for my uh, next uh, email, yes, Henry, uh, that was Henry on the first one, uh, that's John on the second one, yes, the ETTL will come through your, your hot shoe on the top with the, f with the flash on top here. As you can see, there are the little connectors that connect right into your flash, so the ETTL will transfer only if it's on top of here, but it will not go wirelessly. Uh, you'll have to try pocket wizards for that or there are a few other triggers that can do that, but um, Young Neo does not have one that I know of right now. If there is one, um, you guys can just uh, make a video so I can see it. Um, I'd love to get one of those myself. thought it was pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe.